coming after the Friday, 28 August, day after Powell. Um, let's talk about what went right yesterday before we talk about what went wrong. Fixed income smashed. Um, bearish engulfed, although mid-range, but just smashed. Steepening of the curve. So that was that was good. Now let's talk about what went poorly. Dollar cad. What a cock fucking blocker that was, motherfucker. My God. Closed at thirty. Eating our eating our eating our own lunch here at uh I mean one thirty one the figure. Uh we took our stop here. Don't really know what's going on in FX, uh, so I got to step back and have a look at things. The best chart here is is Euro, right? After all the nonsense, those were some long 60-minute bars, right? The first 60 minutes after he spoke, we traded up to 118, uh, 119. Uh, the next 60 minutes, we traded down to 08, and then we continued down to 65. We talked about yesterday. One thing we know is. Uh, if we trade 50, CTAs are going to sell. So there's some money to be made down there. But at 118.70, these guys are laughing. Should have been done. U.S. rates higher. Should be risk off. But here we are, 118.70. So shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now we have to reset and open our eyes to some different possibilities. Add to the whole mix, Abe obviously resigned, uh, dollar yen got smashed, so that helped a little dollar bearishness. Above 119 uh, is very, very, very bullish uh, for Euro. Do not fade that if it gets up there. For now, we're doing nothing. Uh, we're just going to sit back and watch for a bit, but above 119 is bullish. you got to get long. Cable, same story. Uh, traded up to 84. Back down to 131.65. I mean, crazy. But opened and closed, same place. This is indecision. If we get above 84, same story as Euro. If we get below 63, also same story. So now we're waiting for price to tell us what's happening next even though it makes no sense prices are god so we're waiting 84 and 119 the figure interesting dollar swiss i mean same chart but just different just kind of retarded uh, not touching dollar swiss dollar yen i mean what are you going to do news we don't have a position in dollar yen but up to 96, down to 10. Abe's resigning. Are they going to be as dovish? I don't know. Uh, how can they not be dovish in Japan? Uh, but that said, kind of a double top up there now. So anyway. No dogs in that fight, dollar yen. Euro yen also very interesting top there, 126.80. Uh, again, no dog in this fight. This is news driven. Not really sure what to do with it, but technically very, very interesting. 126, sort of 77. This high, this high here. Um, 75.5, this high here, 77.5, very interesting, um, but you know, what are you going to do, you can't sell, you can't sell at 13, leave a 70 point stop, risk reward, it's all fucked up, so, just put the guns down for now and watch, sterling yen, same chart, dollars are uh, incredibly annoying, we were long dollars are yesterday, Made some money off of it. We're still a little bit long. Um, especially after the news when 
they're trying to negotiate better terms from from the World Bank on loans. I mean, South Africa is not in a position to negotiate. They're totally fucked. Uh, so we thought that would keep this thing bid. But of course, euro and the dollar in general is in play. So you got to watch this. Interesting daily bar, obviously. Trade it down to 80. Um, higher high, higher low. We still like dollars are higher, but going to be tricky. Going to be tricky with, with equities at 3501 um, and euro at 118.80. Going to be tricky, so got to have to lighten up a little bit on the dollars are longs. Aussie, really? 72.95? Like, huh? Don't get it. Uh, but I guess this is like an equity play. Uh, 35.01 are equities. Aussie's just playing the same same song here. Euro Aussie smashed. 165.50. Long, long ways away, but still interesting. When we get back up there, there'll be some money to be made at that level. Uh, gold. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. Up to 88. Down to 14. 74 bucks. Bang. Now we're right in the middle. No dog on this fight. Made some money in gold uh, yesterday, to be fair, but. I would have bet a nickel. We we're going to test 119.09. Have 1909 today. Um. Here we are back at 50. Again, red ball in the mouth. Assuming the gimp position here, just watching. A little bit stunned by all of this. Yes, we threw some. We threw some of the chips into the center of the table yesterday after this bar here. Um, 94 down to 64. But look. Shit's higher, right? I mean, I just don't get it. It's a green bar at the end of the day, kind of a dogeous green bar. We obviously stopped all the shorts out up at 35.09. Um, where do we go today? I don't know. Uh, where do you enter shorts? Below 64, basically. So, again, just watching now, scratching. Scratching our heads, a little bit confused uh, with what the hell is going on. BTPs, well, we're selling through 146.50 today. Shit's going to open in a few minutes. Um, we'll see how this goes. Fixed income is heading lower, so be aware of this. And if you want to play along at home, this is very, very important level. I guess 146.43 is the exact level. Bitcoin fucking around down to one, down to 11.200. Now back 11.500. Looks like she wants to go lower, but knowing Bitcoin, there's a head fake here somewhere, and we're gonna shift higher um, again. Keep it light in Bitcoin. Shit doesn't make a lot of sense. The only thing that does make sense in all of this is fixed income. Let's go back to ZB. Shit's pretty bearish, right? Bang, 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 bang. Really extended overnight down to 175.05. Not too many guys are ready for that. Um, fixed income, left hand side. Foreign exchange. Just watching here. We're going to let Euro decide for us. If we can get above 119 the figure, there's no denying what's happening. Uh, below 117.50, also no denying what's happening. Right here at 118.74, we have no idea. So just sitting and watching. With that, uh, I wish you a good weekend, good trading day today, uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys Monday. Ciao.